to a bonus episode of Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. Today we're going to talk about goal setting and drawing Japanese Daruma um, dolls or figures. If you go ahead and look at my easel, I have an image of a traditional Japanese Daruma. And Darumas have been used for centuries to help people set and achieve their goals. I made a quick movie about it, so let's go ahead and watch the movie and learn about Japanese Darumas. Today we are going to talk about how to set a goal using a Japanese Daruma. Daruma dolls or figurines have been a tradition in Japan for centuries. What is a Daruma? A Daruma is a Japanese figurine that is used to keep track of a specific goal. This is how it works. When a goal is created, one eye, also called a pupil, is colored in. When the goal is accomplished, the other eye can be colored. Daruma dolls are placed in an often seen location to motivate you to work towards your goal. Here is an example of how to use a Daruma. Step 1. When purchased, the Daruma usually has two round empty eyes. Step 2. Set a goal and fill in one eye. You should place your Daruma somewhere where it can be a daily reminder. Step 3. Once you have achieved the goal, fill in the other eye. As you know, scholars create both long-term and short-term goals for themselves. It's an intelligent thing to do in life. Daruma figurines can help remind you to work on your goal. Daruma figurines are traditionally red. Why are they red? It could be because Daruma figurines are often sold in Buddhist temples, and Buddhist priests wear red robes. Also, the Tori shrine gates are traditionally red. Red is also a celebratory color in Japan. When you make your Daruma art, you can make it any color that you'd like. Choose a color that will motivate you. Daruma dolls are traditionally made of washi. Washi is a handmade paper that goes back 1,300 years. The Daruma are hollow and wide so that they will not tip over. So start thinking of a long-term or short-term goal for yourself. We will draw and color a Daruma and you will get to fill in the eye when you set your goal. Let's draw a Daruma. Now you know why this Japanese Daruma only has one pupil colored in, in just one eye. That means that somebody has used this figurine to set a goal and he or she is working on achieving it. So today uh, we're going to do a lesson where I'm going to help you draw a Japanese Daruma and then we will write a goal on the art project. So before we draw or while we're drawing, start thinking of a short-term goal or a long-term goal that you might want to work on. Let's go to the table. So the Daruma is symmetrical. So we're going to start by folding our paper in half so that we can get a symmetrical design. You've done something like this before when you've drawn a heart and you just draw half of the heart and cut it out and then when you open it, it's a full heart. This is the easiest way that I know of to create a design that ends up symmetrical. I'm gonna start with the base area and it's gonna come out about like this and I will outline this with a dark or uh, black Sharpie so that it'll show up better. And then I'm going to start about right up here and I'm going to bring this down in a curve like this. And it's going to come in, I might end up shortening that line right there. So I'm just going to erase a little bit. That's why I start first with pencil. Okay. So we have this shape here, and the next part that we're going to do is the white area around um, the eyes and the mouth. And that should start about halfway. So find the halfway point. If this is the top, 
and this is the bottom. Your halfway point is about here. And you're just going to kind of bring it up. And if you want, you can curve it a little bit and bring it up like this. And we'll just bring it around like this. And I'm just doing a rough sketch first and we'll, we'll go over all of this. If you have a black crayon ready or a black colored pencil, that would be helpful too. And then for the next part is the important part, the big white open eye. And I think I will use my circle maker. If you have something at home where you can trace a circle, I feel like that's helpful, especially since the eyes are so important. I'm gonna put it about right here. because it leaves room up here for me to add some details. And I think I will do a little shape, something like this. These would represent like little hair designs or eyebrows, and they add kind of an expression. And we'll have another one come this way kind of over here. These will be colored in black. And within here, we can do some little, these kind of resemble lashes. We'll just do a few of these. And then we also have something around the cheek area. It's part of like a mustache or a beard that comes around like this. It curves through there and I will erase that little mark and we, we can add some more of these little designs here that I'm going to eventually leave white. Just maybe put three there. And just so I don't get confused later, I'm going to erase that little mark. So this will come like this. Okay. And, you know, Darumas usually have a stern look on their face. Stern means serious because they're supposed to be like watching you and telling you to work on your goal. But I'm going to put a, I'm going to give mine a little smile, like a very gentle smile, not a real obvious one, but since I'm doing half, to kind of come up like this that'll be a mouth and then one side of the nose or nostril will come over like this something like that and then I'll just repeat this pattern here these would rec represent like maybe little whiskers or facial hair it's kind of a illustrative, abstract design, but we know what it's supposed to be. I'll color those black. And right now I'm not going to color in a pupil yet because I'm not setting my goal. And then on this side, I'm gonna leave space here because we're gonna draw a kanji. I'll explain that in a little bit. But over here, I think I'd like to add more of these shapes like this maybe one more here to add a design okay and it looks like that's mostly what I'm going to have right now I will outline half of this because what I'm going to do so it should look like this right now and you're probably thinking but how are we going to do the other half we're going to hold it up to a window so for now I'm going to go over this I do like I'll, I'll do this all with an ultra fine Sharpie first. There. Yeah. And that kanji that I mentioned, that's um, Japanese script. We will do that after we have the complete design. Curve this. I'm going to make this one a little narrower 
and I'm going to fill out this one a little bit more. You can do that when you're working with pen. I do a lot of erasing when I make my art. And remember, this is this is a project just for you. So you can you can design your Daruma any way that you want to. You can even research a little bit and look online because you can make it as complicated or as simple as you want to. And you can add your own designs. I've, I'm trying to stay mostly traditional, but I've seen variations of these Darumas. But let's see. It's kind of like a little nose. The features will make more sense once I add color. That we have this big eyebrow up here. So I'm not following the real traditional because I read somewhere that the traditional Darumas had Japanese cranes for eyebrows and turtles for the mustache area, like an abstract version of those respected animals. There, okay, so this is half. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to a window. You, if you have a sliding glass door or a window that you can gently press against, I would like you to try the same thing that I'm doing, okay. So here I am in, at my back sliding glass door and I'm not pressing really hard, but I'm holding this up. There's a little bit of sunlight still outside. It's getting darker sooner, but I'm just going to look through and now you can see I'm just tracing the line. There we go. And it's a little bit harder to draw like this with your arms up. And if you need to take breaks, you can take breaks and I can even this out when I um, go back to the table. Okay, so it worked, so cool, there it is. And let's go back to the table and I can do some outlining with the Sharpie. Okay, so I'm going to start by doing a thicker pen on the outline. And sometimes when you're tracing, you'll see this. It doesn't end up perfectly, but that's what you fix it when you trace over it with a black crayon or a black colored pencil, or if you have a marking pen like mine, it can look pretty good. And it's okay to turn your paper while you are tracing. Okay, and then I'm also going to trace the facial um, outline with the thicker black Sharpie. So now I'm going to draw Japanese kanji, some script right here. Now you can decide, you know, you can make this any way that you want. I'm just offering suggestions as I always do on this show. And I will also show you another example of a simpler Daruma. So if you want to wait at this point and see the other example, you can decide then. But this kanji that I'm going to be writing here, it means good luck or good fortune or happiness. So we'll start, there's going to be um, two different um, characters. So leave room for two, probably, you know, one on each side of this crease. And we'll start with a line like this. Now I'll go over it with pencil and then something like this. 
And you can also look this up online if you need to. I'm just going to sketch it out first. So some of my lines will overlap and then I will fill it in with black Sharpie. And so this line that's up here will come, there's a gap right here, but it'll come straight down and meet up again down here, somewhere about here. And there's another section that comes out here. So if you want to see, let me darken that. It's going to look like this. So something this and I will I will eventually color this in solid black but let me do the other half of the kanji let me write this word right here so that you understand what it is that I'm saying so it's K A N J I kanji is the term for Japanese script I'm just gonna write on my art you probably don't want to write on yours There we go, kanji. These, that's what these um, symbols or characters are called. And for this next section here, it, it'll have like three components. So the first one, there's a horizontal line on top and then more of an open rectangle shape here. And then one more shape here. I'm gonna kind of cross it over the fold because I do think it's supposed to be wider. It kind of sits on these feet here. And then we're going to have four sections here. So I'm just going to sketch it out first with pencil and then I'll do some erasing. So I think you'll be able to see it better when I use the Sharpie. So here's the line on top. And here we have that open, it's like an open window rectangle. And then this one here And again, you don't have, if this is difficult for you, you can put whatever you want here. This is your Daruma. And now I'm going to color it in. Okay, and I, I mentioned it, but I'm just going to write it down for you so you can learn. Uh, this, this kanji means good luck, roughly translated into good luck or good fortune, which is like good luck or happiness. And this little Daruma is watching you and giving you a look, cheering you on to complete your goal. That's what's going on. I'm going to color it in and then I will write my goal. And when I write my goal, I will fill in one of the pupils. So I'm just going to use crayons today. Um, Darumas are traditionally red as you saw in that little movie that I made, but there are also Darumas in other colors, so you can choose which color you would like. So 
So I glued my Daruma to a piece of red paper just so that, because uh, my paper was very see-through and I'm going to be putting my goal on the back. Now you can decide if you want to write your goal on the front, you know, do you want it so that everybody can see it? Or maybe you want your goal to be more private. So let's look and see what I wrote. I wrote, my goal is to learn to play a song on my cello before the end of 2020. And I'm going to glue this on the back. So I know it's back there, but I almost don't even need to put this back here because I already know every time that I look at my Daruma, um, I know what, what this little guy is reminding me to do. So now that I've set my goal, I'm going to fill in one pupil. And I'm just going to make a round eye, a little pupil right there. I have completed, partially completed this. So by the end of 2020, once I learn to play a song on my cello, then I will fill in the other eye. Now, I'd say this is a short-term goal because the 2020 is only about a month and a half away, the end of 2020. So let's take a look at my daughter's Daruma. So she went ahead and wrote her goal right there on the front. Hi, I'm a freshman and I'm taking an American Sign Language class. And my goal is to someday be able to have a conversation in American Sign Language. And she did not draw the kanji here. She did a different design. So let me talk about what you must have and what you can change. So on the Daruma, I think you should have this outline right here around the face and you obviously need to have two large round eyes. Um, and I said before when we started that this face, this outline, starts about halfway up. And, um, but the rest of it, you can do whatever you want and you can color any colors that you want. Um, it's completely up to you. The important part is the whole reason that you're doing this. And the reason is to set a goal and use the Daruma drawing to help uh, be a reminder to you to complete your goal. And the suggestion is, is that you keep this somewhere where you will see it daily. Like tape it to your bedroom door or tape it to a bathroom mirror or somewhere where you will see it often. So um, there are two examples of Darumas. So I hope you learned something new today about Japanese Darumas and how you can use something like this to help motivate you to achieve your goal. And if, if this is something that you're really interested in, you can actually purchase the traditional uh, paper mache, the washi uh, darumas online. So if you're interested, you can check that out. But I hope you enjoyed today. Um, have fun and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.